Dear Papa, thank you so much for the lamba you sent us. Such a peculiar garment, I truly treasure it. All is well here. Mama misses you so, and Grandma Charlotte finally recovered from that ghastly flu. And you'll never guess what she told me. She claims Bloody Bones was her sister. Is that the flu talking, or is she having a laugh? You must have heard of Bloody Bones. I read her tale in Indian Ocean's most infamous pirates. She never stole from her victims, but rather stuffed all their silver and rubies and pearls down their throats. How particularly gruesome. But Grandma Charlotte says Bloody Bones had a secret. She would always keep the sapphires. Intriguing, isn't it? Unless she's pulling my leg. In any case, I did some digging for you, Papa. The book says she once took down a mighty French frigate and the wreck is still untouched to this day. Near Hovo Hovo, they say. Funny name, that. Maybe you'll be the one to find her sapphires, and I can read about you in the next edition of Most Infamous Pirates. I leave this account here. Should I not survive the journey home to tell my tale? Her ship lurched like a demon out of the fog. Bloody bones. I heard the stories. I knew what fate awaited us. So I hid among the cattle like a coward. If the stories were true, she wasn't here for those. I saw it all. She had her men open up all three coffers. She lined up the survivors. I looked away. But I heard it all. My friends gasping for air. The belching. The retching as she pushed coin after coin down their throats. An eternity. Finally, I caught her voice. Raspy and unearthly. As she addressed her crew. Said their journey was coming to an end. They would visit Farloui one last time, and let le paradis take her. Did she mean the patrolling warship? Or heaven itself? <laughs> Even hell wouldn't take that fiend! For all our sakes, I pray our noble countrymen put an end to her hellish attacks. May le paradis strike true, and send that cursed witch to the stake!
My dear Manganirina, I still remember the spring you died. You were ten. I was twelve. Remember the landowner, Charlotte's father? He gave us a handful of sugar once. I thought he was so nice. Until he caught you with that sapphire ring you found. The one you loved so much. No food for a month. He chose as your punishment. I wasn't allowed to share my meals with you. Even as your cheeks hollowed into rotting sores. The farmer revolt happened and they fled back to France. Charlotte promised we'd always be sisters. But she wouldn't help me bury you. I've been hunting them down all these years, feeding them their all-so-precious gems and silver when they wouldn't even feed you bread. But the sapphires, the sapphires were all for you, my beautiful little sister. Now, I'm the one dying, growing weaker by the day. I can't fight them anymore. Bet I can make sure they never forget us. I will let them take me to the heart of the obscene city they built on our backs and curse them all for eternity. <laughs>